All right. It's day three, and should actually get a good amount of stuff done. Um, the RTV and the valve cover for the spark plug O-ring should have dried, so I can fill it back up with oil and do that. And everything about the crankshaft position sensor has changed. So this thing should run fantastically now. So all I'm going to do is, I forgot to refill these fluids last night. So refill the oil, refill these fluids, start it up and see what the, what the deal is, whether or not this thing's running nice. All right, got the last of the oil in there. I might add a little bit more in a little bit because it's never quite clear. Last time it took five quarts, but that was on the other X90. So we just did like four and a half for this one, the four, four and a half. So I'll add more later if it needs it. But right now, I think we are good to start it up and see if it runs right. Let me double check my list real quick. Well, that happened. <clears throat> Alright. Oil change is done. That means... I didn't do the fuel filter, but that's in the back. Skid plate's in the back. Mirror, I don't care. Brakes are in the back. So... Really all that's left is to start it up and see if it runs right now. Let me open the garage, grab my keys, and we'll try it out. Uh, let me put some coolant in there as well. Uh, yeah, I'll add some more. That's good for now. Come on. There it goes. All right. So we got coolant, we got oil, we got no oil in the spark plug holes, we got new spark plugs. I think we're good. I don't have a new oil, air filter yet, so that'll have to suffice. Could have swore I ordered one, but I never got it. All right, well, oh, someone took their anger out on that, but anyways, here are my keys and then let's try it out. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try out that uh, OBD2 sensor again, see how it is.
Uh, you can't really see anything there. Hey, let's stick it right there. So you can see the idle and shit. It's in neutral and neutral. Please work. It's running right. It's leaking, or it's smoking it out like crazy, but it's not misfiring. Oh, there was so much smoke here a second ago. But all four cylinders are running. We're gonna let it sit here and burn second. I'm sure there's all kinds of oil still in the cylinders from when I took the spark plugs out, whatever was in those spark plug holes just went right in the cylinders. So we'll just let it, let it burn this out real quick. Looks like this melted a little bit. Steady idle. We're gonna see what the fault code situation is. So it's still saying crankshaft position sensor and O2 sensor. We're gonna clear them both and see what changes because they replaced the crankshaft position sensor and the connector. It's still misfiring a bit, but nothing like it was. It's still giving us the crankshaft position sensor. So, and it is starting to misfire. I don't know what the fuel situation is in here. Yeah, it's really misfiring. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna try changing out the spark plug wires, see if that changes it. See what this situation's about. Hold on. But yeah, it's misfiring like crazy. We got a solid 13.7 volts at least. I'm just going to give it some gas and see how it deals with it. try next to swapping the wires on the crankshaft position sensor connector. I couldn't really tell which wire went where because they were both cut when I got the thing. So, we'll see if that works out. Alright, so I got the back end up on the ramp. It started to die at the end, but I'm pretty sure it's because it was out of gas. So now I finally get to work on the back end. Hold on, I want to take a look real quick to see how everything looks. So here's the skid plate I'm um, replacing. It's pretty rusty. Looks like I didn't really need to do this. I was only going to replace it because I saw this. I don't know what this goes to. I just know that it's rusted out. Um some kind of a bar that goes right across this. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look too rusted out, but having it be 
all new will make it look nice under here. Here's the diff, which doesn't look too crazy. I said the fuel filter was back here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, that, that fuel filter needs to go. Let's see if any of these fuel lines are rusted out. It looks like it might be back here. It's definitely starting, but I mean, that's the one that has me worried. I don't think it's rusted out though. It's just rusted through. But yeah, there's the fuel filter. So I'll depressurize the system and replace that. What else is it going to do back here? Uh, the brakes. Still don't know exactly what's wrong. The brakes. That's what I'm getting started on now. So. There's a rock lodged in there. Whatever. Alright. Yeah, we're making real progress now. I had my cousin over last night. We did the skid plate on this thing. Here, let me show you. Let me grab that flashlight. Let's make a real progress now. Oh, yeah. Look at that shiny new skid plate all along the backside. So that's all in. Um, like I said, I got that fuel filter in at the end of last night. Um, but it started leaking when we were running it at the end of last night. So I went back into there today and put new copper washers in there. Now it doesn't leak. So now the only two things left are to fix that mirror. I got the brand new one right there. And then we got the brakes to fix. I might just take it to someone else because these are drum brakes in the back. So, But I got to make a decision on whether or not I want to have someone else go fix them because they're drum brakes or if I want to do a conversion to rotor, which is what I would like to do in the end of the day, but I would have to figure out how to maintain the handbrake because most drum to rotor swaps include losing the hand, the, losing the handbrake. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But all in all, it's pretty much done. Um, it runs, you get a little bit more gas in it. This thing is going smooth. Pop the hood and get it running. as a drum right now so basically once I get it running I'm gonna take it to an alignment shop actually no when I when I get it running I'm gonna take it to or when I get it the brakes all done I'm gonna take it to the car wash degrease the hell out of this engine bay because it's grammy as all hell and then uh, I'm going to take it to another Firestone, get new tires and alignment done. And then, I don't even know. At that point, it'll be usable for my day-to-day. -day. So, still misfiring a bit. I'm going to get new spark plug wires, probably a new distributor. So, 
don't worry about that. But yeah, so pretty much it for now.